Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. We have Stevie Craig and Gab here with us. Stevie's been very grumpy in the show tonight. Not even seven goals from Liverpool was enough to put a smile on his face. So who knows what we're going to get in the show from him. The first question, I'm not quite sure why it's here, why okay. it's been asked. Did you guys watch the highlights of Barca Inter after the Liverpool game was done? Did you guys watch the highlights yeah. of Barca? So maybe, I suppose, yes. Stevie, you, you were probably keeping a closer eye on the Liverpool game. Is what is it? I don't understand this question. I don't we get were, the question. Yeah, we so were, I, yeah I, I saw what you said. I saw the I saw the highlights, yes. Yeah. We were watching the Barca Inter game as our main game. As our game, main game with the others around with it. With the others on the TVs around us, so I'm not quite sure. Maybe, maybe they're trying to say that there's a bias towards the English teams on this show. And that that's the team, that's the game we would have been watching more. We, le we led the show with Barca Inter. I agree. So <laughs> I'm not quite. Why did, why did you ask sure. if we watched the highlights? <laughs> they were all confused here. You said. Did, you said, did you guys watch the highlights after the? Oh, I beg your pardon, I. Well, see, I can't. I, all right, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> Well, remember, I can't see the questions or you. All right, so what's your verdict you now that you understand remember the question? That. Yeah, as you said, you lead, what game did you lead with? We led with Barca Inter, but you were assigned the oh. Liverpool game. Yeah, Aye. So yeah, you, but you that, led with that Barca is how it was. So what, what do you want? What do people want? Yeah. I know, what more could you want? Well, your show, team to win 7 1. What did I tell you about the Wingers? <laughs> <laughs> on the show. Come on, move on. I got, I got, All right. I got a taxi. Some people from... are never happy. All right, then. How is? <laughs> Look at. I know the handle on that name is Seria Salty Dog 87. How is Barca so cursed that they spend to reinforce their backline and then their three best centre backs get injured at the same time? Cursed or unlucky? Who's the three best centre backs? Arujo. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, Jules Kunde. Who's Eric. been playing right back? Oh no, Eric came on. Eric Christensen. Christensen. And Christensen, who they brought in from... I'm assuming. <laughs> yes. Kind of funny, yes. But yeah. yes. Well, if you, well yes. number one, if you buy a player who's at his previous club was injured a lot, then you shouldn't be too surprised when you sign him and he gets injured. Cursed, Gab. No, it's not a curse. It's not a curse. There's no such thing as as curse. Oh, well, there probably are, but they're extremely rare. No, it's 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 not a curse. It's <laughs> it's more how you go and you choose to build your squad. You chose not to sign a right back, or you ended up signing Hector Bellerin, for example. Um, you know, you chose to use your resources a certain way, and you have finite resources, and that's how you built your team. And now these guys get injured. But you know, you're talking about Eric Garcia. Eric Garcia. Uh, even though I have my doubts about him, and I believe so does Craig, um, the guy has been a starter for Spain, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so obviously Luis Enrique and Xavi, who, who know a lot about football, really like him. So that's one piece in place. Jared Pique, it's not like the guy's 40 years old. Yeah, he made some mistakes and had a rough time, but um, you know, th th that's not the reason Barcelona are in this situation. That's only part of the reason. Um, I refer you again to all those saves that that, that, that Ter Stegen had to make. I refer you to the amount of service or lack thereof that Lewandowski, despite his two goals, got over the 180 minutes. Um, you know, there are broader issues here that go beyond simply lamenting the absence of, of Kunde and Araujo. All right, so don't worry, Barca fans, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Gab, what is the next economic lever for Barcelona? You're asking me. I, I, I yeah. um, I mean, I'm sure there's they can find more stuff uh, to go and to go and sell. I mean, you know, now they got to see. I, going out of the Champions League, it depends what they had budgeted for and how much money you get from the Champions League depends on on different factors and also for the Europa League, it's going to also depend, uh, you know, how far you go. But I think best case scenario, Europa League will get them maybe 40 million euros. Whereas, you know, reaching the Champions League quarterfinals would have gotten them twice that. 
um, possibly more. So, you know, I, I think this does have, that this would have a big impact if indeed they go out. Uh, can they get out of it with levers? I mean, at some point, the next lever after that is you start selling players, right? Once you run out of levers. I don't think it's gonna get to that, um, but it's certainly a, a, a pretty rough situation to be in. That was actually a very nice answer, Gab. I hope they weren't just being sarcastic as well because of what happened tonight. Uh, this is a little bit sarcastic now because obviously it isn't over yet for some of these sides in the Champions League. But the question is, imagine in 2009, someone telling you that Barca, United, Milan and Arsenal would be Europa League favourites. What would you have said? I'm asking you that question? I'll ask uh, any of you that question. Stevie, you're smiling. Well, what do you think? Well, I mean, clearly, clearly none of us would have expected all of them to be in the Europa League. I mean, seriously, no, not a chance. If any, of us, if any of us had said, oh, you know what, in about, I don't know, about 15, 14, 15 years, none of these teams are going to be Champions League, we'd have been laughed off the show. So. Well, go on, Gab. Can I also remind you, Milan still control their own destiny in the Champions League, even though Chelsea wiped the floor with them over over two legs. We are talking a hypothetical here uh, with Milan being in the um, in, in the Europa League. As for United and Arsenal, look, there's a big six in England, right? Uh, that means that only four of those teams are going to get into the Champions League. Um, the other two will, by default, have to play in the Europa League. So, I mean, I, I don't think it's it's that far-fetched. I think Barcelona are the ones who, are the ones who you certainly wouldn't have expected in this situation. Stevie, how much momentum does Liverpool take into the City game after a win like that? Do you give them a realistic <laughs> chance? <laughs> Just in case you weren't watching. Well, if you'd, seen the show, if you'd seen the show earlier, you'd probably know what the answer is. <laughs> Listen, it's always Wait. great. From a personal point of view, from everybody that scored a goal, uh, they'll feel good. There's no question. When you put the ball in the net, you always feel good. You finish the game and you feel better than you normally would. Unfortunately, if you're the coaching staff, you're going to look at this game as a whole and you're not going to feel quite as good knowing that you're playing Manchester City at the weekend and that but, actually all right. in the first half, Stevie. You, you would try to figure out how you were going to win this game. So that's my answer. Stevie. Can, can I cheer you up a little bit here? Because what you, yeah. you talked about, on, and, and I had this game on on one of my screens as well. Um, you talked about how abject Liverpool were, or, or how touch and go it was, you know, right up until minute 54. That was Liverpool yeah. minus six or seven regulars who was on the pitch, right? Uh, against Man City, presumably, Jota and Salah will start. Presumably, Robertson will start. I mean, Trent's probably not coming back and, and, and whatever else, but, you know, Ajota, Sala, and Nunez or Firmino front line is different than what we saw in this game, right? Um, Robertson, I mean, Tsimikas has been okay, but, 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 but Robertson, if he's fit, is an upgrade, right? Thiago Alcantara will presumably start against City, right? They'll feel good. Well, Alcantara is not an upgrade. Did you see him against Arsenal? Did well, you see fine, Arsenal but... walking through the middle of the, He's well the, middle of the, the, the midfield? He's going to be well rested now. now. There's, an, there's another man no. well rested and he's cold. Well, he's a big I, chap I, who plays I, I very much, I, I, I very much appreciate your attempt, Gab. <laughs> <laughs> City didn't score any goals attempt. in their game in the Champions League. They had him on the battery chargers when they were in Copenhagen. They were just charging, charging big it. <laughs> Big early not. <laughs> don't know how many. I don't know ah, how exactly. many volt. I don't know how many volts <laughs> to put in, but I'm a little concerned. Uh, are you a little concerned, Stevie? Because this would be two weeks running that you've been a little concerned. Oh, oh, this to goodness. Every <laughs> every time I go on my phone and I look at the fixture list and I see this game, I'm like, oh no, oh dear. I'm not honestly. I'm not looking forward to the weekend. I'm not. If, if Rangers can open you up the way they did, what what are Man City going to do to you? Seriously, could I'm be the worried, man. The season, it could be right. Yeah. 
It, 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 <laughs> oh, I, I could be, I, yeah. Unlikely. How unlikely? <laughs> could, could, could you see it happening at all? Uh, not at the moment, no. I just can't. I just can't see it happening because of the way they're defending. Yeah. Because of how they're getting opened up in the middle of the park. I just... I, I get it, the balance in the front line is another thing. You're getting Nunez on the score sheet, it's good. Uh, got his on the score sheet in the game at Ibrox, Salah goals, and yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's the uh, it's the back door. That's a huge problem. I'd say, and I just can't see it against them. They've got too many ways they can attack yeah. you at the moment. <laughs> they can't let Don charge. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I'm sorry, Erling's not here, and Erling's not going to play tonight. He's in the back. He's in charge. We're charging him up for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Like he needs it. Gab, does anyone want to face Napoli in the knockouts? They are a scary side given their current form. They are, though. The knockouts <coughs> shot the vault uh, are <coughs> until February. And look, you can also turn this around, right? You can turn it around and say Rangers are terrible, uh, Liverpool haven't been great, and, you know, Ajax lost, what, seven, eight players from, from last year. So, and say the as rubbish, as some people like to keep telling you. So, you know, you can turn it around that way if you like. Um, <laughs> if they if they play like this uh, in February, I think a lot of things could be different. But I also think um, we need to. Get, we, I think in February when we do these shows, we're going to be talking about who's impacted from the World Cup, who's picked up injuries, uh, who's who's fatigued, who's tired. The good news for for Napoli is that you know Faratzielia is not going to the World Cup. Um, Raspadori's not going to the World Cup. Meret's not going to the World Cup. Rahmani's not going to the World Cup. Di Lorenzo's not going to the World Cup. So all these things, I think, uh, will help them. And I, and I genuinely do believe that will be a factor um, come the knockout stages. So maybe teams don't want to face them in the knockout. I'm, I tell you what, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to play them. The pace they play at, and uh, as Gab was talking about in the show, they are, uh, what's the name again? Big striker? We, you could... Oz... Oh, Ozzyman. Oh, Ozzyman. Yeah. Osman, I always get it the wrong way around. Osman, he's not he's not around at the moment. Spalletti has done an amazing job there. Honestly, it's amazing. And they just they look as if they're gonna score goals for fun. They're a huge threat. I mean, at the moment, it's a long way to go in Serie A, but uh, they're gonna be a hard team to beat. And Stevie loves talking about Kvaratskelia as well. He's brilliant. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> They're not bad, though, are they, CV? You guy. would know. Well, I think, you know, the fact that, you know, the fact that the, the, they've got a load of players that won't be at the World Cup is actually going to be great, you know. Everything everybody talks about them, it's all about the pace as well that they play at. Um, and so for for a team with players who, who a lot of the, <laughs> a, a huge part of the game is about pace uh, and intensity, to be able to get a break in the middle of the season, then there's no reason why, if if they can pick it up quickly when the when the when Serie A in particular restarts, then they're going to have the legs to keep doing that for the rest of the season. So, you know, at the end of the day, if you put things on paper, it's 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 it might work out pretty well for them. The fact that there is a World Cup uh, when it is. Last point, Gab. Uh, no, I just wanted to remind Stevie about who else is going to the World Cup. And it's the large Norwegian man who's charging in the back room. They're going to yep. plug him into the charger for about four weeks during the World Cup. Yeah. So that's going to be fun when he comes back. He's going to bust out, isn't he, when the World Cup's over? <laughs> <laughs> when they let him back. Steve, when they let him get back out of the box. Stevie, don't have nightmares tonight. Thanks so much for sending in your questions on Extra Time. Well, Stevie sent questions in? <laughs> Maybe he sent that first one in. No, because he didn't understand it himself. Neither did we. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.